you guys know that I've been on the road now for, what, 10 days? So I uh, just wanted to fill you guys in on what's been happening. Um, I've been doing a lot of fishing. Uh, it's been a little bit tough, but I'm gonna share the last, what has it been? The last um, six or seven days of fishing um, while I make myself a sandwich. Uh, while I grill myself a steak and make a sandwich. So um, that's the stage I'm at at the moment. So stick with the story. Um, yeah, so starting out, I've gone to Mondrian and everyone knows Mondi's tough at the best of times. So obviously rock up there. And usually the hardest thing at Mondi is that you're trying to find the fish. Like that's that's the hardest bit. But good news was that, that I found fish um, on the first afternoon that I was there. So I basically rocked up, put the boat in and uh, found fish pretty much straight away. So that was good. Um, the second thing is I didn't really have much of a cast at them, but um, I did find some and I had a few casts and I, I hooked something I thought it might have been a caddy and turns out uh, oh, I caught a turtle. No. Caught a turtle. Come on turtle, I'm gonna get you off man. You're alright. What happened to You just swam into it, turtle boy. So Great way to start, great, great way to start the, the trip to Mondrian uh, with catching a turtle. And then went around to another point and uh, tied up. Uh, and just, just a tip, just a pro tip, make sure the trees you tie up to are very sturdy. Oh, oh mother. It was, uh, yeah, she was pretty rotten. And uh, as soon as the tension came off the rope, it, she fell down on top of me. So I was like, oh yeah, things are going well here at Mondi. Things are going very well. So anyways, fast forward to the afternoon session and it was just catfish after catfish after catfish at this one spot and there was barra just funneling through, just blowing all, all afternoon, all night and uh, every time I get a, a nibble, it'd be a catfish and I'd G myself up thinking I got a barra bite and then two seconds into the fight, I'd be like, no. Nah. So, and then I was unhooking one because you don't want to bring them in the boat because they're really slimy. So I was unhooking one and uh, actually dropped my pliers in the water. Oh, I just dropped me pliers. So I was like, oh yeah, cool. Good first day at Monday. Good first day at Monday. What more could you ask for? Yeah, fast forward to the next morning. I went back to that point where I was getting the caddies in the morning and sure enough, barrel were flowing through. So what do I do? I cast out, I get snagged first cast. So that's. Beautiful. Um, so I mucked around getting that off and must have like, well, anyways, next cast, I throw out and I, I caught a caddy, which I was like, oh yeah, typical, because this is where I was catching the caddies yesterday. And I uh, just went to pole the caddy in and just, tink, my rod just, my rod just snapped. Just broke my rod. And it, so it must have been something I did with a snag and it, and it sort of like put some sort of tink in it. I've had that rod for three years. So it's, it's endured a fair bit of, um, fair bit of punishment so yeah anyways i snapped it which is the, the, the bad thing is that downsizing and, and like streamlining all my rods and stuff it's it's hard to you know take all the rods that you want you know so i've really only got one barrel worthy stick so anyways first thing in the morning i've run all the way back down to the boat ramp and grabbed out my 8 to 14 pound which is what i like to use for bass and stuff you know spoons and things as well so i grabbed that out and i was like this is not gonna hold a barra this rod here definitely definitely won't hold a barra this is the only choice i had that's the only thing i had so i changed the reels over put that rod on ran all the way back up to the spot and they were still flowing through flowing through got on the blower to Tackle World Launton, ordered a new rod, and Brock and Brendan were coming up in a couple of days. So uh, Brendan was gonna pick it up for me at Launton and bring it up. So I was like, sweet, we're all sorted. I just gotta stick with this rod for today and they'll be up tomorrow. So anyways, I end up hooking a barra. I ended up getting one, but it was pretty cool on the on the little rod. And uh, yeah, she ban and the barra's coming out of the water. You just have to believe me because Believe it or not, had another corrupt SD card. So I don't know what it is, but we're just cursed. It's like it's almost like the universe is like, oh yeah, you're going out on a road trip, are you? Well, let's see how quick we can get you to turn around. You know, so the, I've had camera failure with the Toga. Now I've had camera failure with the with the Barra. So it was a pretty cool capture, but I got it all on big camera here. 
You've got to be happy with that. The girth on him is just incredible. He's chucked up a couple of bloody bony broom into the boat just now. So, yeah, what size is he? He's probably, I probably should do a quick measure, but um, yeah, I'm just happy to get one in the boat on the light rod. I thought I might have been a bit undergunned, but oh, pressure off the shoulders, hey, after snapping a rod and all that sort of stuff. So, anyways, let's get him back in. Bite down, there he goes. Fins are going, fins are going, there he goes. Oh, you going mate or what are you doing? There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I, was pretty, I was pretty stoked with myself and I thought, yeah, we're on here. So anyways, um, yeah, sat at that spot for a while. I had him streaming through, lost the lure, broke a lure retriever. So that was fun. Um, so then I rang Tackle World back again and ordered another lure retriever. So Brendan could pick that up and bring it up. So um, yeah, it was going well, it was going well at this point. Snap rod broken little retriever um, and lots of caddies and lost footage and I was like yeah cool this is going really well so anyway Brock and Brendan come up brought my new rod up and uh, we all went out we all went out in my boat that afternoon and uh, we found a little spot where they were just all streaming through with the wind in the back of a bay tied up and uh, we were throwing out and just talking, talking absolute rubbish. And I was actually talking rubbish to Brock and then, yeah, hooked up. Oh, yeah. Just a couple of zizzers and uh, yeah, she was off and left a big boil in the water and I was like, oh, so typical. We worked all day for, um, for that. Yeah, so I was like pretty, pretty pissed off at that. But um, then we moved across a bit. There was some more barra coming through and Brendan actually hooked one, took him up around it up around a stick and all this stuff and it, you know like carried on and jumped and whatever so it was 65 and I was chuffed for Brendan to get that 65 I was really happy for him actually to actually get a boat and uh, fish in the boat so and Brock had got one earlier in the day uh, and missed one earlier in the day as well so um, it was starting to happen for us it was starting to happen and there was lots of barra streaming through the section and then well I'll just run I'll just run what happened next Wind has tapered off though. Thanks for bait and stuff, man. Yep. All right, all right, all right, yep. Big one. Big one. <clears throat> Get up here, Mungo. Come on. Ah, oh, he got me. Go. Yeah. Between those two spindles up there. Just come forward. Yeah. 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 Fucking decent fish, huh? Yeah. He's very Couldn't scared. stop him. Nah, he, he, I heard, yeah. He's up in the 80s. I so. pumped him. Yeah. <laughs> Three sport high. What's the end of that? Look at that. Broke another one. Oh, what? Oh, what the fuck? They just broke. Or is it still in your line? Doesn't matter, it's gone now. That's two fucking little retrievers, hey? Ah, well, that's the end of that. I feel less bad about that. Yeah, fuck it, bent like a piece of shit. Look at it. Yeah. She's done, boys. She's done. So that's that's another lure lost, another fish lost, and another lure retriever broken. So I was like, not having a good run here. Not having a good run at all. So that was pretty much that was pretty much how it went. So I was like, yeah, great, awesome. Um, so yeah, after that, it was sort of like, yeah, just finding the fish and, and not getting them to bite. So I thought I'd quickly run up to Wonga. So I'm at a Wonga now and, uh, I thought I'd give him a, give it a shot out, out up here. See if it's any kinder to me up at a Wonga here. Um, so I went out, found some fish and then I had troubles with my sounder. Like my sounder just stopped working, turned off. 
and then wouldn't turn back on. And then I was just like, oh, typical. So I literally rewired the whole sounder while I was out on the water, like out in the boat here at Uwonga one afternoon. And like, it wouldn't work. Even with all new wire, like ran all new wire, new fuses, and then I just bypassed the fuses altogether. And then I was just using the cable straight to the battery and it still wouldn't boot. So I, just, I was like pulling my hair out. And then anyways, came in and I was like, what a waste of time. And I was just sitting there at camp and I was just like, Filling around with this and that and blah 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 and I just popped the Navionics card out and that seemed to work and it just booted and I was like what an absolute drama that has been. So anyways, I went out this morning, the wind swelled a little bit and you know it was a little bit different. I went looking in a couple of extra spots and it took me a little while to find them. I ended up finding them on a very similar point that I had the day before, before my sounder crapped out. So basically, yeah, sat on that point there, had them streaming through for about five hours. It took me five hours to get to this point here. What's through here? Got me right around a tree there. Are you on? Still there. Oh, there he is. Yep. Come on out, mate. Come on. Put him out. He's over there now. He's on some other tree. He's on some other tree over here now. Fuck. He's got me wrapped around everything. I got off, man. And then, yeah, just pulled hooks. You can see there that back treble has pulled out, so it's straightened that back treble and um, just left me with a scale on the front treble. So I was like, oh, yeah, sweet, typical. So that was about that. And then sat on them for another couple of hours, and now I'm, I'm in here. It's blowing a gale out there, and I just sort of... There's plenty of fish out there. There's no dramas on, on how many fish there are and, and all that sort of stuff, so... Um, it's just a matter of trying to hook them and I've tried vibes, soft plastics, I've tried bloody everything. So anyways, that's how it's going. Like the impoundment barrier is pretty tough at the moment, so I'm pretty keen to just keep moving. So that's what I'm going to do. And and like, like I said, oh, well, you wouldn't have saw it, but the other day I was like, I don't know how entertaining this is going to be. But in 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 the pursuit of making everything transparent and just... Like I tell myself all the time, anyone that knows me, I say fishing is hard. doesn't matter who you are or what you are. Fishing is hard no matter, you know, it's just hard. Fishing is just hard. I tell myself that all the time. So, yeah, I was a little bit dirty on all the things that happened the last week, but, I mean, it is what it is. But anyways, um, just so you guys know, I'm not just out here just braining them nonstop. It's, um, it is a bit of a grind at the moment, so... Just looking at forward to getting a little bit further north, but it just seems wherever I go, like here and Mondoran, um, no matter where I go, when you rock up, people go, yeah, tough, wrong time of year. What are you coming here for now? And same here in Wonga, like the guy's like, oh, yeah, you're here at the wrong time. He sort of had a boat on. He's like, no, you're here at the wrong time, mate. You know, so I was like, when, when, am, when am I going to be at the right place at the right time? That's what I'm looking forward to. So until then, um, I'll let you know when that happens. You definitely will see when I'm at the right place at the right time and I start to brain some fish, but obviously don't hold your breath. But anyways, thanks for sticking with me and um, that's life on the road. So um, until next time, I'll see you out there.